On February 23, 2022, at around 2.30 a.m., Tara Pakinich woke up to a knock on her front door. Before going to the door, she went to the basement to make sure her son was home, but found that he wasn't. When she went back upstairs to answer the door, that's where she found a bucket with human remains inside. Inside the bucket was the mutilated head of her 24-year-old son, Shad the Ryan. After finding the bucket, police ended up also finding Shad the Ryan's torso, penis, and even organs in the basement as well. The gruesome nature of the terrifying murder was caught on police body cam. The murderer, Taylor Shabusiness, picked up the Ryan from his mother's home at around 9.30 p.m. on February 21st, 2022. Shabusiness told police that she and the Ryan smoked methamphetamine and injected trazodone that day. They eventually returned to his mother's home and spent the day there while his mother was away. The Ryan laid face down in bed before Shabusiness quote-unquote went crazy and repeatedly choked him, despite the fact that he was coughing blood and had turned purple. Shabusiness went on to tell law enforcement that she continued having sex with Shad's dead body for a period of time because she enjoyed it, and then gathered kitchen knives with the intention to dismember him and keep all his body parts. During the investigation, Taylor told police that she even preserved Shad the Ryan's blood to shower with it, using it in replacement of soap. Taylor Shabusiness was convicted on all counts of first-degree intentional homicide, mutilation of a corpse, and third-degree sexual assault the Ryan's death. She was sentenced to life in prison in September of 2023. On August 16, 2023, police in Louisville, Kentucky responded to a 911 call due to reports of neighbors hearing a woman scream for help. When officers arrived on scene, they quickly realized that the entire first floor of the house, including the windows, was completely barricaded, so it was impossible to get in.
Where you see a ladder? I got a ladder, but the ladder was on the side. Is it my else in there? He did what? Is he Hispanic? But there's no one else in here, right? Thank you so much. The reason why neighbors were able to hear the woman in the first place was because she was able to kick out the second floor window and scream for help. Two days after police rescued the woman, they arrested 36-year-old Moises May. After the arrest, he faced kidnapping and assault charges. In October of last year, police in Ohio responded to reports of a woman being held captive in a garage. In the video, you can hear the garage owner who called the police explain what she saw and she is absolutely certain there is someone in the garage being held against her will by a man. William Mazingo Jr. kidnapped and tortured 23-year-old Chloe Jones with a baseball bat, doused her in gasoline, and even threatened to light her on fire while holding her against her will for four days inside a garage. Body camera footage of her rescue shows Akron police demanding Mazingo exit the garage with his hands up. After arresting Mazingo, officers could be seen entering the garage where they located Jones, who was in a partially obscured hole in the ceiling. What's going on? How do we get in? Can we get in the door? I don't, we don't care. I don't care. My parents are here. I can't help. I just want to help this kid He used to live here, so he can tap into anything. Uh -huh. But we have cameras up for other reasons. Right, I got you. Has, you know he's in there for a fact? I know for a fact. Can you, can you kick your door? Can you I kick it in? I swear to God, go ahead. Please. Just, I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Oh, there's a girl in there with him? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a girl in there, she's very slim, very slim. My husband said he didn't really get a look at her, but he's yelling at her. Uh, I her face is, she can't see out of her eyes. Okay. So this is why I'm nervous. This is why I've been calling her all morning and I don't even know if that's even you the know right 100%, to do. You know 100% of I know 100%. No. Oh, you come out now, Akron Police! Come out! Come out! Come out now! now. Oh, nothing in your hand! <laughs> nothing in your hand! Now! Now! Hold up your bit, buddy! Coming out or not? Can you see him? Get out here now! Come out now! Come out now! <laughs> Bro, you're gonna get fucked up in a second. You better come the right the fuck out now! Now! Keep everything out of your hands. He's in the attic. Keep everything out of your hands. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Put it down. Drop it. Drop. No, not your whole body. Get up. Turn around and walk backwards. Walk towards us. Keep your hands up. Hey, whoop, 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 Just keep coming. Watch your step. Right there. You get that? Come on. There's a female. There's a female in there. Come on out here. Stay like you're pregnant. Boy, come out. Please, can I get shoes? No, no, no. Get some shoes. Now, fuck that. You don't need no boots. Alright, you can reach. Big man can fucking walk himself. Oh my god. There's no one else up there? Where do you live at here? Thompson? How far away is that? 
30 minutes, but the closest is starting. Why don't you have a sit right seat right there? Why don't you have a sit right seat right there on that seat? Probably have more she at. Yeah. Why don't you just sit down there? I'm not that guy's of water. Well, we'll get you some stuff here. Car number 12. Is there any weapons up there? Here? Is there any weapons or anything up there? No. There's no apartment number. Just there's on the third floor, male and female throwing things out of the apartment. Are you are you what's that? Are you one? Yeah, that's what probably take you. What is your name, man? As officers hauled Mazingo off in handcuffs, the heavily tattooed man could be heard saying, I love you Chloe, according to body camera footage of the incident. Chloe Jones was subsequently hospitalized for three days with facial fractures, a brain bleed, and a broken arm and fingers, and body camera footage showed serious bruising to her face and eyes. According to court records, William Mazingo Jr. has a long history of kidnapping. In 2011, 2014, and 2019, he was charged and sentenced to prison on abduction charges. In 2017, it was also reported that he had held a woman at knife point in a Walmart bathroom. After the arrest, Mazingo was held at a Summit County Detention Center on a $100,000 bond. According to court records, he was released from a correctional institution in April. On February 19, 2021, 22-year-old Tyler Thompson was taken into custody on a charge of interference with child custody with the Edgewater Police Department, adding a charge of traveling to meet after using a computer to lure a child. Deputies in Florida responded to a missing child report at around 6.15 p.m. During the investigation, Deputy Royce James spoke to a friend of the missing girl, who said she had planned on meeting someone named Tyler, whom she met online. After reviewing security footage at a Dollar General store, Deputy James started visiting motels in the surrounding area. At the third motel he checked, Deputy James noticed a guest checked in under the name Tyler Thompson with an address out of Orlando. I'm investigating a, um, a runaway juvenile okay. that supposedly checked into a local hotel okay. today with an adult, most likely. I don't know what he looks like or anything. Um, this is what she looks like. All right, someone checked in earlier when I, okay. when I wasn't here, so let me check out. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah, her, well, her, she's only 13, so I, I don't know the person she's with. So it would have been whoever she's with. Yeah, she doesn't even have an ID. Again, only 13. No, uh, the, the person she's with? No clue. Well, how about Oh, where's this guy? I think this is him. They said his name started with a T, possibly Tyler. Front office, anybody inside? We need to come in for a second. Hey. Sheriff's office, back up. Have a seat on the couch. What's up, sweetheart? Sheriff's office. Get Pappy up here. Go in the bedroom and wait for me for a second. How old are you? How old are you? Five oh one tech. Just wait in there for me, sweetheart. Okay. Are you okay? Do you need any attention? Are you hurt at all? You're not hurt at all? Your stomach hurts? Okay, we're going to be right with you, okay? Three, three, five, three, yeah, you go. How old are you? If I ask you that question again, I'm going to lose my f***ing mind. How old are you? Oh, you f***ed up. Yeah, you f***ed up real good. Yeah, I'm not Yes, I am. I found him. Yeah, boy. How old is he? Too old. I'm on the way. Copy. Thanks for everything for You sure you're okay, sweetheart? Okay. 
few days after the incident, Thompson was released from the Volusia County Branch Jail after posting a $15,000 bail on his charges. At around 9.30 p.m. on November of 2020, 24-year-old Alexis Carver left work and accidentally fell asleep at the wheel. After she fell asleep, the van went off the road and hit a guardrail before falling nearly 14 feet into the Mahoning River. Within a matter of minutes, the van quickly became submerged in the river, with Carver trapped inside. We're coming. Hurry up, hurry up. Right. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Give me the Ouch. Yeah, get her the back. Hold on, we're gonna break that back window. See that can't breathe. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, you here. 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 here, here. Alright, I got you, Tuss. I got you. Here. Give me the Alright, I got you. I can't breathe. I got it. I got you, I got you. I need relax, Tussie. Relax. Yeah, I will, miss. Tell her to get away and bust that window. Open the back door. Open the back door. She can't. All the doors are locked. I can't. My foot is stuck in a rock. My foot is stuck in a rock. Hold on. Let go. Let go. Let go. Now I'm going to hold your hand. Let go. Okay, miss. Here. Take this tomahawk. Turn it away. Turn it away. Do it again. Shit. There. All right, get out. Get out. Ouch. Watch, Bob, there's rocks. Yeah. Come on. Is there anyone else in there? Here. Is there anyone else in the car? No, Get out there, Here we go. Here I go. Here, Christian. Ouch, my. Just you? Oh, no. Okay. Right. Wait, my foot is stuck. Officer Tallman said if the officers wouldn't have responded when they did, the minivan would have been completely underwater within a matter of minutes. Carver was taken to the hospital for minor injuries and was later released.